Happy Sunday, everyone. There is plenty going on in the world of fitness, strength, sports, YouTube. Let's get straight into it. First things first, two guys who I really like and are huge on YouTube, they have beef. I, I wonder how real this is or not, but Coach Greg and Mike Isertel are apparently not getting along. Now, on one hand, you got Coach Greg. He is obviously doing some stuff for clickbait to get people excited, but generally speaking, he does want to help a lot of people. And on the other hand, you got Mike Isertzell, probably the guy who's smashing it better than anyone on YouTube right now with Renaissance Periodization. He's got his PhD, incredibly science-based. I'm going to play Switzerland a little bit because I think these dudes are both right. I'll talk a little bit about what their problems are with each other. Now, first of all, let's just put the context. Greg gives a lot of information for the average person trying to get fitter, get leaner, get in better shape. He, of course, has coached people to their IFBB Pro cards, but Mike's audience is going to be someone who wants to get things absolutely perfect. And Greg has the opposite point, saying most people can't get it perfect, so let's just give them general, reasonable, practical advice that's easy to follow. Uh, now, to sum up their opinions, Greg says train hard and do your cardio and train harder than last time, and that's essentially it. Begin and finish there. Mike he is a self-admitted nerd who found lifting, and so he finds all of the intricacies, which personally, I love. That's the stuff that I make videos about as well. Uh, I love talking to Mike, I love having those discussions, but I definitely see the elements where if I was advising an average person, which I do often, we don't need to get so much into the nitty gritty. Now, in terms of the controversy between the two of them, Greg has talked about Mike saying that he didn't win his pro card, and. Uh, substances are affecting his ability to think properly, et cetera, et cetera. Not the nicest stuff in the world. Uh, then <laughs> Mike called Greg a two-faced lying sociopath blank sucker on a podcast with uh, with Zach Tellender, um, who, by the way, is making some pretty good country music right now. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check out him. Uh, but regardless, Mike was airing out some intrusive thoughts and – I have spoken private to my friends about these intrusive thoughts as well. I think most men have them, and we are uh, – <laughs> it's just if you act on them or not. I think everyone has had the thought, you know, how – I don't know. <laughs> if I'm sitting here, could I throw a child from here to the pool? Would they hit the water? Uh, stupid stuff. But I think we all have them. Regardless – Coach Greg and Mike Isretzel not getting along. I'd love to know what the public opinion is, what you guys generally think about this. Go ahead, pop that in the comments. I've done podcasts. I've had sit-downs. I've spent time with both of these guys, and I will continue to. And it's always confusing to me when you have people who are both really reasonable, really nice, and then together they're just a little bit of oil and water. I'm going to just boil this down to the sensationalism of Coach Greg to the literality of Mike Isretzel, if that's a word. But you've got one guy who, who does things for entertainment purposes and one guy who does things for pure educational purposes. And I think it's easy for them to pretend that they don't see what each other is trying to do. Now, that's the controversy world. There's plenty other things going on in the strength community. We've got the Deadlift World Champs coming up in about a month's time, and I am one of the people who will go to Las Vegas with Trans Live to try to break the Deadlift World record. The current record is arguably 500, arguably 501 kilos for some more uh, controversy, some more uh, split opinions, some more oil and water. Eddie pulled 500 several years back. Thor pulled 501 several years back. And Thor actually put out a video just recently talking about his desire to break 501 and pull more. I genuinely believe on the planet right now, Thor is the man to push the deadlift world record much further than it is currently. I think he's a person who could go 5'10", 5 5'15", but he's also smart. There has to be some semblance of why. Why am I going to commit the time? Why am I going to take the injury risk? And it's just going to take someone with uh, probably just with a wallet who's willing to pay to see something historical, see history be broken, just like Eddie did jumping from 460 some odd kilos to 500 kilos in one night. Now, in terms of the people going to the deadlift world champs, we've got four people who are uh, of some sort of interest, uh, some sort of chance of breaking the record. Uh, we got Graham Hicks, who had his last heavy pull of 465 kilos. 
It looked slow up past the knee. He was fast to the knee, but then to lock out wasn't as good. The thing is, though, if you can get any weight above your knee, you can make it look dirty and potentially have a chance. I don't know if Graham Hicks is going to be able to do it or not, but I'm not confident to say that he can't do it, uh, which is very exciting. There's definitely a chance of it happening. We also have Ivan Makarov. He's got 500 kilos to his knee multiple times. He's coming out as well. Potentially, he'll be able to do it. And then Matt Ragg, he's pulled 460 kilos, but he nearly pulled 460 kilos without a suit on. Depending who you are, depending what you get out of the suit, you could add upwards of 40 kilos. That is in the realm of possibility, and I'm one of those people who gets a lot out of a suit and I would be the fourth person so between Hicks, Makarov, Rag and myself I'm going to give it a I, I'm literally going to give it a 50% chance at the moment now there are still tickets for this Giants Live Vegas show if you want to check that out I'll pop that in the link in the description this is one of your only chances to come see Strongman in North America this year all we have is Strongest Man on Earth the uh World's Strongest Man and the Arnold Strongman Classic. Now we have a Giants Live. If this does well and you guys show that you love Strongman, that you want to come out and support, there will be more Strongman shows in North America moving forward. The one point to make is that Thor is not attending. For those who don't know, Thor and everyone involved with World's Strongest Man, for the most part, uh, he doesn't want anything to do with them. So that will be a separate occasion altogether. Now, on Thor news, I'm going to make a video very shortly about the strongest person who ever walked the earth, which I believe was Thor in 2018. He's made an interesting uh, announcement that he's going to do the Strongman Champions League uh, over in Dubai. He's also going to do an appearance at a gym. I assume that this is some sort of more an appearance than it is a competition itself because he's coming back from his pec tier. This is his first year back to professional strongman. He did the Arnold, the Arnold UK, Iceland's Strongest Man, Strongest Man on Earth. He's going to do the uh, SCL in Dubai, and then he's doing the Rogue Invitational. Six shows is more than almost anyone not named Mitchell Hooper, Evan Singleton, or Alexei Novikov. And for him to come back that quickly at 34 years old, I believe, that is uh, a true testament to who he is. Now, I am. I see him in my rearview mirror. I beat him at the Arnold, the Arnold UK, and Strongest Man on Earth, but I do see that he's creeping ever closer, and I definitely have a fire lit under me. It's sort of like if you're running away from the cops and you're looking in the rearview mirror and they just turn their lights on coming to chase you. Uh, it's pedal to the metal. He is going to push me to new heights, and I am very excited for what that might become uh, and very excited for a little bit of back and forth with him. I know... I know one day he's going to get me, but I'll work my ass off to make sure that he can't. So interesting for Thor. Now, other upcoming shows, we've got Giants Live in Birmingham in a week's time. That has the World Loglift Championship as well, where I will be one of 10 guys looking to break the Loglift World Record. This is more clear than the Deadlift World Record. Iron Bibby will be there. He hailing from Burkina Faso, uh, it's almost like this dude isn't real. Like, you don't really see anyone else from that part of the world at the very top level, and he just turns up, and he is absolutely up there. So he's capable of breaking the Loglift world record. He wants to go all the way up to uh, 235 kilos, he says. The record currently sits at 230. Usually you try to jump it by one, but he's going to jump it by five. Would love to see it. Would be very impressed but time will tell. The one thing about Iron Bibby, and if Iron Bibby watches this, or if you guys could share it and tag Iron Bibby, just clip out this portion. We want to see you in full shows. He, he is so much more athletic than you could ever imagine. For a 400 plus pound man, he can run a yoke really well. I've never seen a weakness. I haven't seen him do all the events, but he seems to be pretty capable all around. Now he is not doing the full show. He's just doing the Log Lift World Champs, but he's doing the full show in Vegas. I believe he is the freakiest human alive to watch do anything. If you watch him do something good, you'll see a 400 plus pound man cartwheel. Uh, you'll see a 400 plus pound man sprinting. It's just stuff that should not be possible, Iron Bibby manages to do. Last thing in the, new, in, in the world of strongman, we have the events for the Rogue Invitational. I can't tell you yet what they are, but if you pay attention closely to training of people involved, then you will definitely start to get the gist of it. 
Now, that's what's going on in the world of YouTube, strength sports, and strongman. Would love to know your guys' thoughts. Coach Greg or Mike, pop that in the comments. Will you be attending any of the strongman shows coming up? Would love to see you there. Would love to show you what we are capable of. But we've got one in Birmingham next week, Birmingham, England. And then in about a month's time, Giants Live in Vegas. Again, check the link in the description. And if you want to become the strongest version of yourself from someone who has a master's degree in exercising through injuries, chronic diseases, and someone who's got a performance coaching background, my programs are linked in the description. And if you just want to support the channel, you're not, you got your training sorted, Lift Every Be Kind merch, go ahead, wear that, put that out there and get people comfortable in the gym and inspire more people to lift heavy and be kind. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will catch you tomorrow.